Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is to kind of go over uh, what is it the things that you're going to need to know to be able to determine the zeros of a polynomial using factoring. Um, so basically, the first things you're going to need to know is to know your factoring techniques. And we discussed these. We kind of went over these in factoring quadratics and solving for quadratics, as well as factoring uh, polynomials. So you're going to need to know how to factor out the GCF, how to factor using the difference of two squares, difference of two cubes, uh, use factoring trinomials when a is equal to 1, when a is not equal to 1. Uh, again, mention the difference of two squares as well as mat, um, factoring perfect square trinomials. So knowing all those different techniques is going to be very, very helpful when identifying the zeros of a polynomial by factoring, especially factoring out the GCF. That's one of the most important ones, because that will be used very often. Uh, the next one is understanding the zero product property. Why do we factor? The whole purpose of factoring is so we can produce an expression that is equal to, that is a product, an expression that's a product that's equal to zero, so we can apply the zero product property. And more importantly, so that we can determine what the zeros, roots, and the factors are. Because remember, you know, for instance, if I have x plus 3 times x plus 2 times you know, x minus 1 equals zero, right? We do all the factoring so we can get to this. Right? But now, what's the, uh, the last thing you're going to need to know is what's the, what are these called? These are called our factors. So when I apply the zero product property, I set each of my factors equal to zero. Right? And then, so if that's your factor, then you solve to get your zero. Or if you're dealing with a you know, function, then it'll be your roots or your solutions, whatever, whatever the problem you're kind of dealing with. But the main important thing is understand the difference between the factors which we produce by factoring and using the zero product property, then using the zero product property and solving to produce your zeros or the solutions of the problem. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's kind of some of your basic ideas that you need to know to be successful for finding the zeros of a uh, quadrat or polynomial by factoring. Thanks.